Predictive data analytics encompasses a variety of statistical techniques for modeling, machine learning, and data mining that analyze current and historical facts to make predictions about future and unknown values. Predictive data analytics is used in scientific and research industries, marketing, financial services, manufacturing, insurance, healthcare, and many other fields. So what can predictive analytics do for you? Over the next five minutes, I will show you how the science behind predictive data analytics can help you access the information hidden inside your data. I'll cover all the core concepts such as accessing, cleaning, and arranging your data, variable preprocessing, and machine learning. So let's get to it. Let's say you have some data. It could be measurements from a scientific trial, customer data, prices from financial markets, or any other quantified values. The important thing is you have collected a bunch of it. Now, let's say that you suspect there's a relationship hidden in this data. For example, you might have a sequence of observations and you want to try to predict some upcoming values in that sequence. This is called a prediction, and examples of this include forecasting if stocks will go up or down, predicting inventory requirements in warehouses, and anticipating if factory machinery is beginning to fail. Or, you might have a collection of observations and a process that you can perform to divide that data into groups. This is called classification. And examples of this include determining if a medical abnormality is cancerous, assessing the viability of potential customer, or even determining the gender of an animal without having to look for its bits and pieces. Predictive data analytics is great for prediction, classification, and even approximating unknown or complex functions. In other words, predictive data analytics is great at identifying relationships. Now let's look at an example. Let's say this is some data you've collected. Since predictive data analytics relies entirely on the data you're working with, the quality of your analysis is going to depend on the quality of your data. Because of this, the first step in any data analysis is to clean up the data as much as possible. If there are missing or wildly incorrect values, it's a good idea to remove or adjust them. The philosophy is garbage in, garbage out. If you analyze garbage, your results will more than likely be garbage as well. So your data is cleaned, arranged, and ready to be mined. But first, let me explain a little bit more about machine learning. Machine learning provides the ability to build systems that can learn from data. Now, there are many types of algorithms that can be used, such as decision trees and neural networks, to name a few. Decision trees will map observations about an item to conclusions about the item's target value. They can be used as predictive models to visually and explicitly represent decisions, or the decision tree can be used to describe the data in other data mining techniques. Neural networks, on the other hand, are computational models that are inspired by how the human brain works, which is capable of machine learning as well as pattern recognition. They are generally presented as systems of interconnected neurons which can compute values from inputs based on historical data. The tricky thing with machine learning algorithms is that it all goes back to the data. There are many different ways to look at data. You can look at a value, you can turn it upside down, combine it with other values, or compare it to them as well. So let's get back to neural networks. Since they're inspired by how the human brain works, they're a lot like the brain in that they work best when you balance getting as much information as possible with being able to focus on the most meaningful information. There has been a lot of research done on what makes an effective simulation of the brain. This has led to a lot of different types of neural networks and many different approaches to making them learn effectively. Sometimes, simple models work best at generalizing big concepts. Other times, more complex models work better at identifying more complex relationships. In the end, the best analysis will depend on not just the quality of your data, but on informed trial and error to determine what works best to reveal the relationships hidden in your data. So there you have it. Predictive data analytics in under five minutes. You now know many of the core concepts for using predictive data analytics to find hidden relationships in your data. It sounds possible, but it doesn't necessarily sound easy. Thankfully, NeurDimension has been in the business of bringing neural networks to individuals, businesses, and universities from around the world for over 20 years now. Our NeurSolution software is a leader in allowing researchers to apply both 
classic and custom neural networks to their data. We have also used them extensively to provide custom solutions for many of our customers. And based on this experience, we are happy to bring you the next generation of predictive data analytics with Neural Solutions Infinity. Neural Solutions Infinity performs all of the legwork of predictive data analytics for you. It accesses your data, cleans it, organizes it, manipulates it, and intelligently tries on its most popular networks. It lets you throw as many computers and processors as you want at discovering relationships. And it even lets you use your models directly from your own application with the Quick Deploy add-on. You can get started with the free, fully functional trial at www.neurosolutions.com infinity. So whether you loved or hated this video, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach us on any of our social media channels or via email if you have any feedback.